Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. I came out today because I wanted to ride Velocicoaster and Hagrid's Motorbike Adventure to see which ride I like more. Both of the rides are absolutely amazing and I have rode them before, but I figure I need to ride them back to back to get a final judgment. So, let's go do this. We just got done with a very big rainstorm and I believe both rides were down or delayed because of weather. So it looks like they're running again now and I think we're gonna head right on into Islands of Adventure. Both of these coasters are amazing, like I said, and they are completely different and have totally different aspects to them. But I feel like I was living in the hype of Velocicoaster when it first opened up. Everyone was asking which one I prefer more, and because I was in that hype mode, I was all about Velocicoaster. But now I look back and I really do love Hagrid's. I mean, I love them both, but I feel like I need to give a good answer which one do i like more now it doesn't mean either one is better than the other it just depends on which one i prefer to ride i shouldn't say prefer i should say enjoy so which one i enjoy more which one gives me the tingly feelings you know what i'm talking about but anyways look at the height requirements i didn't know velocicoaster was actually a higher requirement for hagrid's now i know it's gonna be a very humid day because of the rainstorm so i'm excited that we don't need to wear the mask anymore and also we're gonna be able to express pass on to hagrid's because i got an actual ruby pass that i'm gonna be able to use velocicoaster on the other hand we might be looking at a little bit of a long wait it did just open uh 10 or three days ago on the 10th itself so it's probably still very busy before we head to our first attraction, I wanted to show you guys the current wait times. Looks like Hagrid's is 60 minutes and the Velocicoaster is at 75 minutes. That's not too bad. And plus Velocicoaster has a single rider line that I might be able to use. I'm cutting through Seuss Landing and I think we're gonna go to Hagrid's first. Yeah, we're gonna do Hagrid's first since it was actually here first. And then we're gonna do Velocicoaster. Then we're gonna talk about it, compare it to some other rides, and then also enjoy the park itself because I'm not just coming here to ride two rides. I'm gonna do much, much more. I like cutting through Seuss Landing because everything seems like a little bit strange. But you know what's really amazing? This palm tree right here. Look at it. How awesome is that, that they have that in Seuss Landing? I'm sure they did that on purpose, but isn't it just so cool and unique? Look at the way it bends. I've never noticed that before until right now. The line for Hagrid's is actually starting in the Lost Continent, but like I said, we have an express pass for that, so we don't have to actually wait in that line. We can just go right up to the front. I wish that they would add the express pass to Hagrid's for like annual pass holders and also for the ones that you actually purchase. I feel like it's probably at that time since Velocicoaster is now the big roller coaster in town. Here is the line for Hagrid's. It's starting in the Lost Continent and it's actually going all the way into Hogsmeade. But I have this fancy little pass. They call this a Ruby Pass. And a friend gave this to me while I was at the Orlando Informer. So thank you so much to her. I was standing by the Butterbeer stand and they were leaving and they said that they couldn't use it. So it's valid from 529 to 90121. Everything good except for Velocicoaster and the Flyers. Fancy. It is super humid and hot. So before I hop in line for Hagrid's, I think I need to get my pre pump up drink over at Hogshead just to get me in the spirit, get me in the good mood, you know? Definitely a little bit crowded, but I'm gonna navigate right through it and right on over to my favorite Harry Potter pub. I can feel the AC hitting me already. I'm probably gonna sit in here if I could and just kind of cool off a little bit. Normally, I like to get myself a Deathly Hollows drink, which is Hogsmeade, Guinness, and then the cider. But I think today I'm just going to go with the Hogsmeade, which is the uh, exclusive beer they have here. It's a Scotch Ale, and I think it has the highest ABV out of all of them. The Dragon Scale is darker, but this one has more alcohol. Well, I couldn't sit inside and take up the AC because I didn't have any available seating, but I could come out here and it's actually next to Velocicoaster so I can give you kind of an outside POV of what it looks like. And this is a beautiful viewing area. There it goes.
got me really, really excited to ride. So I decided to come over here and stare at Hagrid's as well so I get excited to ride that. Look at this. Okay, now I think it's time we're gonna get on the ride. I am so excited seeing them both from the outside. It just gets me all pumped up and ready to go. These are so much fun. Like the roller coasters that they are started building up, uh, the Universal Studios have definitely stepped up a game since Hagrid's, I would say. Like I feel like it's on another level and I'm excited for Epic Universe. Now it's time we gotta put our camera away. I am gonna show you the ride. I can't film on it, so I'm gonna use stock footage or footage supplied by Universal or media themselves. gets the heart pump in there. <laughs> I love that ride. So now I'm gonna make it down to Velocicoaster and then I feel like I'll talk about things I like most about the ride and I'll do the same thing with Velocicoaster. Like what are the elements that make me like that ride so much? And then like I said, we're gonna hash it out. See which one I like a lot more than the other. So now on to Jurassic Park. Looks like the wait time is still 75 minutes. So I, I think I'm gonna try to use the single rider line. I think it might be quicker. One time I was here, the uh, standby wait was 60 minutes. I used single rider and I got on 40 minutes. So sometimes it is worth it. Sometimes I don't think it is because I wanna ride front row. So I don't know, maybe I might have to be all in for the 75 minutes. Oh, I'm gonna have to think about it. The downside to actually doing single riders, you can't uh, request a row, so you can't do front row. And I think front row is probably my favorite. 
the reasons I like Hagrid so much is because of the launches, the theming. Harry Potter is so amazing. I love it. And also, I love smashing that purple button. I feel like it gives you such like a sense of power. But, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons. And uh, there's a lot of different reasons why I like the Velocicoaster as well. I love watching people hit that top hat right there. And then their face when they come straight down. We're going to see if we can catch it live in action. Because it is so amazing. Single riders will be split. At least it's open. Hopefully it won't be too long. Right now we're gonna clock it and we're gonna see how long. Like I said, 75 minutes and then we'll see how long the single rider late was. All right, camera has to go away. Say goodbye. I love it. I love it so much. I'm so happy we got to ride. It looks like they delayed it because of the weather. Holy moly, we got on just in time. I feel so lucky. Overall, I ended up waiting just around 30 minutes. So I feel like that's a win compared to 75. So I'm happy with that. And it was so worth it, so enjoyable. Looks like the queue is going all the way back here and people are starting to abandon ship. I think they realize it's been closed for a delay. Oh, I feel bad. It's going to go back up, though. That ride literally gets the best of me every time. I love it so much. It's so hard to decide. Honestly, it comes down to a story coaster, a well-themed coaster, compared to a nice-themed, like, thrill coaster. You know what I mean? So it's so hard to decide. I love Velocicoaster. I love hitting that top hat. I like the second launch. I mean, there is so much. I love feeling like you're coming right out of your seat. Like, it gets your heart pounding and the adrenaline going. So, I don't know. I think we're going to have to break it down to different categories. But overall, it all depends on what kind of person you are. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? If you're more into the theming side or if you're more into the thrill side, it all depends on you. And I'm going to have to figure out which one I am. Because of the incoming storm, I think we're going to head back through Hogsmeade. Maybe hop over to Universal Studios side and then we're going to talk and I'm going to try to break it down to decide which one I like more. I love them both, but which one is my favorite? It's starting to rain, but let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. If you've ridden them both, or if you can just tell from like the looks of them. Like if you were to just judge it off this video alone, or just seeing POV footage of it, which one do you think you'd like more? Let me know, because I think it's a fun game to see. Are you like Team Hagrid's or are you Team Velocicoaster? I think we'll take the Hogwarts Express over to Universal Studios side. Right now though, it is closed. I don't know if it's a weather delay or if it's just some kind of mechanical issue, but we're gonna wait till it opens up because I bet you there's not gonna be a wait. Sometimes you can use rain to your advantage. See how that works? I was gonna be, you know, probably walking over, but since there's actually no wait and the line just reopened, might as well hop in it. Here it comes. <laughs> I love staring at the Hogwarts Express.
now we're in our cabin and we should be arriving at King Cross Station in no time and we're gonna explore Universal side a little bit maybe get something neat and then of course the final judgment which one do I like more all right we have made it I like looking inside here when we're not running it's so cool isn't it oh sorry <laughs> someone was inside there Looks like the weather's not much better over here. So we're gonna find somewhere to eat and then we're gonna just sit there and talk about both of our favorite roller coasters in the park. I think I'm gonna get something to eat at Mel's Drive-In. I haven't eaten here in a very long time and it looks like it's probably the lowest weight out of all the other places that you can get something to eat here at Universal Studios. So it's a winner for me. Now I found a table and I'm able to sit down. I ordered food, they're gonna deliver it out to me. I just have to sit outside instead of inside because you have to wait in a huge line. And plus I like the outside ambience just a little bit better. I can hear Transformers and that epic music. It's really nice, but I wanna get to the coaster. So I'm gonna break it down in a couple categories. And the first category definitely has to be theming. I feel like Hagrid's is a more themed ride, more immersiveness. I really, really love everything about it. I love the animatronics. I feel like that is a big thing. I wish Velocicoaster had some kind of animatronic Raptor. I think that would have totally blew it out of the water. But, I mean, like I said, Hagrid's, I don't think anyone can disagree with me on that. I mean, maybe, but I just feel like Hagrid's is a very themed ride. But when it comes down to thrill, Velocicoaster all the way, I mean, you literally feel like you're falling out of your seat. That top hat, everything is just so amazing. Like, I absolutely love it. I kind of get like that happy feeling, but I also get that on Hagrid, so, but it's like two different feelings. Like I get that glorious, like happy feeling, but also I get that I'm fearing for my life feeling on Velocicoaster. So, uh, Velocicoaster definitely gets a thrill. Now, for like the overall ride, it's hard for me to decide because like I said, I'm more of a animatronic and immersive person. Like I really am. I would never pick the thrill ride over an immersive ride, but I absolutely love Velocity Coaster. I love the thrill and I really, really feel like that is one of the most amazing roller coasters I've ever ridden before. So overall, I gotta give it to Velocity Coaster. I still think Hagrid's is in my top three. If I was to say my top three roller coasters in Orlando, it would definitely be between Velocity Coaster, Hagrid's, and then I'll throw Mako in there. Uh, Mako's a, a thrill ride, but Oh man, it's it's such an amazing coaster. So it all depends on who you are and what you like. If you like Rock and Roller Coaster better than uh, Big Thunder Mountain or Expedition Everest, then you're probably gonna like Velocity Coaster. If you're more into the theming like Expedition Everest, then I think Hagrid's is probably more you. Anywho's, it's time to eat some food. I'm very excited. I'm very hungry. <laughs> I feel like that was a long-winded discussion, but. The food is here now. I ended up getting the barbecue brisket burger. Comes with an onion ring on there, brisket, barbecue sauce, french fries, and a good old Bud Light. Can't go wrong with that combination. I think this is gonna be my first burger from Mel's. I mean, oh yeah, look at this. It's a big burger. Oh boy. <laughs> mm. I like the fries. The brisket actually looks like the brisket they serve at Monsters Cafe. So I guess we're gonna dive in here. Oh yeah, that is so delicious. Look at that brisket on there. And then the onion ring, that is a good burger. I really, really like this. I didn't get the cheese. I'm not a big fan of the Gouda cheese. So I just went kind of rodeo style. And it is so delicious. I'm very happy with this. I wish I would have came here for the Orlando Informer. I think this is one of the spots I missed. It's hard eating at every single quick service location at Universal Studios, but I almost did it. That burger definitely hit the spot. <laughs> I really, really did like it. I love Mel's uh, brisket sandwich, so the fact that they add that same brisket onto a burger, I mean, the burger's kind of just like a generic patty. I think it's frozen, but oh man, so, so good. I actually really enjoyed it. Ooh, Optimus Prime. Look at that big guy right there. To meet you, Earthling. It is an honor to meet you, Earthling. Now that I've had my burger, I think I'm gonna head on into the Jurassic World Tribute Store so I can get a dessert. Now, one of the desserts they have in there, I absolutely love and I've had before, but they actually made it like a Jurassic twist to it, and that's the pistachio cream puff. And I remember getting it, I think, over by uh, 
King's Cross, but I don't think I've had this one. Like I said, it's like a Jurassic twist, so maybe we'll get with that. I mean, that'd be a nice little dessert. This is my first time actually going into the Jurassic World Tribute Store. I only seen pictures of the pistachio cream puff and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to take a peek in there. It's so amazing how they do these stores though. They're so well put together. Uh-oh, we got that wet sneaker sound. I'm gonna try to walk like a ninja, so then I don't need to hear that sound and you guys don't need to, but it's gonna be a little hard. Tiptoe through. Tiptoe. Oh wow, look how cool this is. Oh, lots of raptors. I really like it. They sell some amazing merchandise in the raptor room, but I want the Jurassic snacks. Jurassic snacks. Wow. <laughs> Look at the theming in here. It's so awesome, right? Oh, wow. Look at this big guy right here. Dino food only. Do not feed the dinos. Human food. Here's all the Jurassic snacks. Velocicoaster marshmallow pop, a Velocicoaster apple, the pistachio puff, and that's what I'm getting. This actually looks really good, the Velocicoaster s'more, but I'm, I'm all about pistachio. Look at that, isn't it so delicious? It looks just like the one that I had not too long ago, except for it has a T-Rex like chocolate chip on top. Still, this is one of my favorite desserts I've ever had, and RIP John Hammond. <laughs> Spare no expense. Not too sure how I'm gonna eat this. I didn't grab any silverware, but I'm gonna eat my little uh, dinosaur chocolate here first. Mmm. How did that happen? It's like the powdered sugar just kind of came off there. But I'm gonna use my chocolate maybe to cut into this. Nope, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to bite it. Not too sure how well this is gonna go, but we're gonna give it a shot, Eric. Okay, that definitely tricked me because I knew it was a cream puff, but I didn't know there was a hole in the bottom of it. That's where that all came out from. Well, I guess that's how they put it in there. So <laughs> it did not work as planned. Make sure I got all the pistachio cream out of my beard. I think I'm good. Anywho, we need to get moving out of here. There are some angry clouds moving in. Wait till I show you how scary it looks over here. Look at this. It is definitely going to be a downpour soon. If we can make it out of here without getting soaking wet, I will be so, so happy. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments, like I said, what is your favorite coaster, whether it be Hagrid's or Velocicoaster. Now, when I say things like this, I'm talking coaster. I'm not saying my favorite ride is either one of them, but coaster-wise, absolutely. So, uh, let me know in the comments. Team Velocicoaster, Team Hagrid's, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. I think everybody's got the same idea. It's time to get out of Universal Studios. Wow, look how busy it is. Things are definitely changing quick, I can say that. Lots more crowds and people coming to visit Florida. Welcome back.